Hello YouTube, WJ's Handy Dad here, and today I'm showing you a little upgrade on the golf cart, what I'm calling auxiliary lights. I've got the two side lights, they would be called alley lights on a police car. Then uh, I have the dome lights, and then the big LED light bar in the front. Now let me start by saying this is not meant to be a detailed step-by-step -step how to install type video. Uh, I'm assuming that you have some basic knowledge here. If you need some of the more, you know, in-depth how-to stuff, I have videos on pretty much how to do just about everything on my channel. So again, I'm assuming that you've already watched that and kind of have a good idea of how to work some of this stuff. What I had on the sides were just some really cheap little, they call them daytime running lights, but they really weren't very bright. So I'm going to put these on. These are some Nihilite 6 LED. I think these are flood, not spot. Everything I'm installing is 12 volt negative ground, so it's basically the same as wiring it on a car. If you have a golf cart like mine that's 48 volts, you need a converter to drop it to 12 volts. Um, if you have a 36 volt, obviously you need a 36 to 12 converter. This one's using a 48 to 12 converter. So you see put a 20 amp fuse there from the hot side. And I went overkill. I did a fuse on the negative and I also did a switch there so I can shut it off in a hurry if I need to without pulling the uh, cable. Put the wire in the conduit, it goes down, that's the converter. The converter hooks up real simple, you put the wire from here goes to the hot and the wire from there goes to the ground and then there's two outputs a yellow and a black the yellow is the hot output and the black is the ground output and again i probably went overkill but i went ahead and put fuses on all the hot outputs i've got three switches there they're waterproof switches and you've got the front spotlight, the side alley lights, and the dome lights. And I did kind of a mix of soldering and crimping. So these are obviously crimped and can be disconnected very easily if you need to. I'm gonna have to clean all this up at some point. It's a little bit messy. I don't want this hanging around here like that, for example. But I'm not done putting the conduit and everything here, so uh, I was doing some troubleshooting. I actually had three of those going across there. So that one does the reverse lights, which are those, and they come on whenever I put the golf cart in reverse. And if you've been watching my golf cart videos, you've seen those in action. So I had this one just for the headlight system that I just put in, the LED headlight system. And then I had the older one that was powering basically those three switches. Well, when I put this all back together, there was no power over here. So I dissected it, determined that the uh, deal down there, the converter had gone bad because it had 48 in and zero coming out. So I went ahead and just combined, everything's running off of this one now. So far, it doesn't seem to be overloading it. Uh, I've put five amp fuses on all of these. So, and none of those blow. So th these aren't even pulling five amps. So for wiring up to the top, I have a shared ground the hot for the dome light and the hot for the alley lights. The hots for those come off of the switches there, just run through the conduit. And then you see here, I, I used to have it running up through here and what I noticed is because there's a joint that comes out right there, it was getting a lot of friction and the wires would fray and, and break and everything. So now running it 
in the conduit outside and that should hold up very well. Then I redid the dome. This time I took the time to measure <laughs> and so put the right gap of wires there and the right length of wires there with the conduit. It's stuck to the ceiling with the E6000 adhesive and held up there temporarily with duct tape until the E6000 dried. You see I didn't remove some of the old tape stains from prior crappy installations that I've done haphazardly and recklessly. So this is temporarily connected. I'm going to clean this up, but just wanted to show you that they do work and they're very bright. And we are at the point now where I have done the mounting brackets and what I did this part took that away drilled the hole out and then you know it's just a regular nut and bolt to hold it on on each side then I took these and measured how much wire it would take to meet up in the rear middle there soldered in the extra wire with the conduit over it and I'm going to probably crimp connect these to the back rather than soldering so they're removable if necessary and I'll probably just route it something like this and then back around and these mount pretty simply they come with bolts with washers and you just hand thread it in initially there's four total bolts two for each side and then once you've got those hand tightened in, you can adjust it to aim however you want the light to be aimed and then torque it down once you've got it aimed about where you want it. This one comes with 3 8 bolts. I'm crimping this side, which is the driver's side with this piece and then I'm going to heat shrink that over the end of it just to keep it isolated. and then just slide that over the end and heat it up. And then on the passenger side, I'm going to put a male so that will connect into there and then this one will connect to the common ground up top. Here's the driver's side. I went ahead and did those double ups on both of them. And then I went ahead and did a red heat shrink on top just to differentiate the hot. Even though I know red's hot, black is ground. If I ever get a head injury and forget that or somebody gets this and doesn't know, hopefully they'll at least be able to match up red to red, black to black. This is what the wires look like all connected up. See the side lights share a hot and everything shares a ground and then the dome lights have their own hot. It's on a separate line and then I'm gonna probably just zip tie this up into here. Same thing on that side which will hold that up and of course I'm gonna do some tape or something in the middle there to uh, make sure none of those touch each other. And you just see everything is hooked up and lit up. And we can individually shut them off so no more domes. 
no more sides and no more front this is what the ugly mess looks like here what I'm gonna do is secure that up like that and then I'll be done other than the duct tape which will come down this is what it's gonna look like so I glue it with the E6000 and then I hold it in place with the duct tape once the glue dries and the duct tape will come down and that will stay up there so it looks a lot better than it did I know you probably haven't seen it before but it was bad a very haphazard job on my part just kind of threw some wires up there and now at least everything's in conduit and should uh, last a lot longer so like I said this wasn't really meant as a really detailed how-to video if you needed help with some of the specifics you can certainly ask questions in the comments or check my channel and see what I got on there that might help you but nonetheless I hope this video was helpful to you appreciate a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already subscribed and please tell your friends about my channel Java says subscribe to my channel too.